Hey, I just came out into the sagebrush this morning to do a little more experimenting with preloading. Well, I thought I would change things up a little bit and I'm gonna do a vertical burn, but I'm gonna try to slow it way down by using very, very large pieces of hardwood. So I've got some fairly large pieces of maple. I'm gonna use a Easy Light fire starter to try to get them going and try to do a little bit of a Swedish fire torch, you know, at least that concept and uh, try to get these larger diameter chunks of wood to burn for me and see if they'll go for a, you know, a fairly long duration. Okay, so let's get out the firebox. And right there out of work. And I don't think I'm going to block off the ventilation holes this time. Um, I'll see how it goes and I'll know better for next time. But this time I'm planning on, on just using, you know, these very large pieces of maple. So I have some other pieces of maple that I was just going to kind of fill in these corners. So that's a pretty cool little setup in there, I think. So I'll just put the... Uh, Easy Light Fire Starter down, right down at the bottom. I'm going to try to get it lit first. Now the nice thing about Easy Light Fire Starters is they don't go out terribly easy, so I should be able to drop this down there without it blowing out. Let's see if I can get that to fall all the way down there. Yeah, so that, that looks like that'll work good. So I want you to see kind of what that flame is already kind of pulling up. Even though it's just little and it's just the fire starter, you can see the way that air is just going to pull that flame straight up. It's going to need to build quite a bit of heat to get that those pieces of maple going. And I want these to kind of stay in chunk form so air can get around them. Put on my pan here. With a little bit of water. Well, I use these potatoes quite a bit for backpacking because we really like to cook potatoes and fish. Uh, and really utilize the fish as part of our meal plan for backpacking. So I just buy whatever's kind of cheapest at the grocery store of these. There's quite a few varieties of these potato dishes um, and they're all these dehydrated potatoes and so since I only care about the potatoes themselves you don't really need to get the fancy expensive stuff because the potatoes are all the same. doing so that's just a really cool little flame right coming right out of the center of that I really like the looks of that so that's gonna give me a nice ouch careful it's gonna give me a really nice temperature I'm trying to close it a little bit I want to slow it down I don't want it to go too fast but I think this is gonna work it looks like that's gonna make a really nice cooking temperature and so far, there's almost no smoke at all. So one thing that I did want to show you on this little trip are these new little, uh, I think they call these the Jet Set uh, Utensil Set. Anyway, they're from Jetboil, um, but I've used them for a few years, and I really like them. They're very lightweight, and they're compact. I don't have the spoon here or the knife or I don't know what else comes with it, but I don't have it with me. Um, but it's nice and flat, you know, so it stows away very compactly and it's very lightweight. Um, you can see I've burnt the edge a little bit 
um, but I think almost all spatulas do that a little bit. So they're not super thick or super tough, um, but they are very, very lightweight and they do work well. And uh, I like the compactness of them. So we're carrying them on our site now. That's generally what I do uh, with products on our site is I find stuff I like and then I try to find them so that I can offer them for my customers. Okay, so it wasn't very long ago that I turned the camera off and I already have a boil, you know, a really strong boil. So this looks like a fairly hot temperature to me and I think it's going to run for a fairly long duration. I was able to check the time in my car and so I will be able to give you a pretty good idea of how long this lasted. It's not going to be exact because some time passed you know, before I actually checked that out. But you can see that flame just coming up through the center there and it's a very clean burning little setup um, that's really, uh, you know, it has a lot of velocity to it and so it's just producing a really hot temperature. Yeah, let me try to push through this steam here and see it feels like these are still a little bit tough. Let me try to stir them and get the top stuff to the bottom and get it to soften up a little bit. I'm really liking this setup. It's still very smoke free. I mean there is some smoke. I can smell some smoke but I'm not seeing oh there's some smoke. I'm not seeing nearly as much smoke as the other preload setups that we did so and I think I would have even less smoke if I hadn't added those smaller pieces of wood just wanted to give you a close-up of this setup and just how cool it's working out I mean that's just beautiful The heat is still coming up from the center and then you can see it's just washing over the pot. This is really working beautifully. Very happy with this setup. Let's see what this food looks like. Oh, I can't see a thing. Oh, the lens fogged up. A ton of steam. Okay, I'm starting to, I've lost my water, I gotta get this off here before I start burning stuff. Alright, let's put this down here where I can look at it a little closer without worrying about it. Okay, so it's just starting to brown on some of the edges. I caught this just in the nick of time. Okay. I'm going to put a little cooking oil in there. Quite a bit, because we're going to try to brown these now. And I was worried that the fire would get more out of control. But it's not. It's still kind of a nice cooking temperature. It might be a little hot, we'll see. It's getting hotter and hotter, there's no doubt about that. Let's see what happens. Having the pot on it slows the flame down considerably. See, now you can see flames are starting to come around the outsides. So eventually there's gonna be flames everywhere and this is gonna be a very hot fire, but right now it's working. So let's see how it goes. Okay, so I am going to try to slow this down a little bit. I'm going to pull out this ash pan and just let it cool down a little bit so that I can handle it. I'm going to wave it around here in the breeze. It's not terribly hot, but it is a little bit warm. I'm going to put that up underneath and block off these air holes. Let's see if I can do this. I'm 
Anyway, I've bumped into something that's keeping me from going all the way. Oh, there it goes. Okay, let's see what it did to my heat. Okay, those still look like they're okay. Okay, so let's turn these over and see what they look like. I think they're starting to get pretty brown. Oh, yeah. This center might be a little warm. It's a little darker than the center. Right where that flame's cooking up. Oh no, these are looking really nice. See, you can see the flame is kind of coming up from all sides now, not just the center. So we've got a lot of heat going on now. Well, let's take a look at it. I think that I've got enough browning going on right now that I don't need to keep cooking this brown it anymore I'm happy with how much brown I have and I'm actually gonna close this wind damper and try to slow this down a little bit more because there is a lot of heat going on But I'm adding a bunch of moisture right now. So a little bit of heat will probably be just fine. Yeah, the heat's actually not bad. I think closing this thing off has made a pretty significant difference in the temperature. So you can see it's a little smokier and I'm kind of pushing my pan this direction a little bit because I've got a straight line there and there. So I'm trying to cover up as much of the top of it as I can so that the exhaust has to come out the front and then it'll kind of slow it down a little bit. And it's actually working out great. I've got enough food here to feed three people but Get some salt and pepper on it. And I think that this is pretty much done. It's actually looking really good. So, that temperature worked out really nice. I was a little concerned there for a second. Um, but I was able to slow it down. Okay, so I had to run and commandeer my phone from my daughter because the battery died in my camera. I think that battery is dying in general. So I put up this board to shield this little bush, and uh, I'm back. So now that this is, I mean, this is still going to be a pretty hot temperature, but I'm going to lower the wind damper.
and just let that warm up. And so let me get another fire stick out. And I'm just going to have to put this on top, I guess. Anyway, this looks like it's going to have a really nice long duration, and it's giving me these really nice big diameter coals that would probably work great for grilling. So I'm going to have to try this again and have a whole meal planned out that will utilize all the phases of this fire. But uh, right now I'm going to eat. Hmm. Yeah, that's good. I'm just going to rest this lid on here. Once again, everyone, that's just resting. I'm not threading it at all. So this fire is still just doing beautifully. It's doing a great job of heating up this water which I think is probably going to be, eh, it's got a little time left. So I won't have a time on how long this took to boil. But uh, anyway, doing a great job. Still plenty of heat. And I'm enjoying my breakfast too. It's delicious. Enjoying this uh, view as well. It's just nice. I'm just sitting out here in the sagebrush. Kind of a nice little place to be. Okay, the flame has stopped now. So this would be perfect for grilling right now. Those are going to be nice, long-lasting hot coals. Uh, but the temperature did go down quite a bit. So I'm considering lowering it uh, and getting it down into that heat a little more. So let's see what I can arrange. I'm just going to lift this off. The top's not hot. As long as I don't slosh water to where this material is, it's not going to be that bad. It's when the water comes into contact inside the bottle that the temperature changes really, really fast to a very, very hot temperature. So let's just see if I can move these to the side enough. I don't think that's going to give me quite enough space. I was just going to try to push this bottle down in there a little bit. So that not that may not be perfectly safe, but uh, it seems to be okay. Let's see if that brings the temperature up and gets this to a boil for me. Okay, so as you can hear, that's boiling now. I'll wait to have my hot chocolate just so we can see how long I can maintain a boil um, with, you know, just these hot coals and with this same load of wood. So this is, same, this is that same single load of wood that we're still working, and I want to try to get a final time on how long this has lasted. Okay, so we still have a pretty rapid boil and uh, this burn time has been more than 45 minutes. So this may go on a little while too. It's, you know, the boil's pretty rapid. So I think there's still plenty of heat there and I think those coals are gonna last quite a while. Okay, it's been a little over 10 minutes since I last filmed. Uh, this is, this burn has been running a little over 50 minutes now. So we'll see if it can make it to a full hour. So it's been an hour now uh, since we started this fire, or approximately an hour. It was a little while before I went and looked at the clock on my in my car. Um, so a little bit of a guesstimation, but this is, has basically been an hour-long burn. And we still have a boil. 
you know, it's slowed down quite a bit. I'm going to go ahead and pour this for my hot chocolate. And uh, I'm going to put my food back on those hot coals and warm it up. I didn't bring up a spoon, so. Oh, there's my hot chocolate. Hmm. Ooh, and hot it is. Mm, it'll be a while before I can drink that. Well, Ash is cold. So, I'm gonna get her home and get her warmed up. But thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate the likes, the shares, the comments. Uh, it all really helps a lot. So this ended up being a little more than an hour duration burn. And uh, I think I want to try some more complicated meals. I think I want to do uh, creamed eggs over toast or something like that. And uh, see how that works out. But anyway, thank you all for watching. Really appreciate it. Bye-bye. Hmm. It's still nice and hot. Bye-bye. Hmm.